So when we developed mesh systems in the past, we were one of the first companies, maybe we are the first in the home network space to develop and deploy mesh solution in the home. There was no standard to, to be able to establish a mesh network and, and basically manage the Wi-Fi uh, home network from a higher level. We had to implement lots of lower layer protocols and lower layer improvements on the uh, Wi-Fi chips and the chip driver level, uh, which, which was necessary and it was not available. But there is, there is a lot of work, a lot of time spent on the, on the low level support. Easy mesh, we really pushed for uh, getting easy mesh standard into a, a good, uh, let's say, operator level. Easy mesh release two is definitely there. This is where we uh, we actually put all of our efforts to integrate easy mesh into our smart Wi-Fi system and interface with the uh, Wi-Fi chips and Wi-Fi interfaces of gateways and the extenders using easy mesh protocol. That actually helped us. First of all, focus on more value-added features like optimizing Wi-Fi and uh, you know building a lot of um, QoS level uh, channel optimization level uh, features. But at the same time, it also helps us integrate with different chips, different gateways, different manufacturer products on easy mesh standard level because now we can talk the same language. We can describe what we need based on easy mesh protocol. We just need easy mesh release to support on the extender or the gateway uh, where we integrate our edge software. And it also puts a clear boundary about, about where the responsibilities is when we integrate our software into the into a third party device. Mm-hmm. We can test at the easy mesh level. We can make sure that the product works well at that uh, standard level.